Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So guys, today's video is gonna be a very special video because in this video we are gonna discuss the roadmap for Python, the structure you have to follow to learn Python. So if you want to learn any language or else if you want to learn any course, always the structure is important. If you don't understand the structure, you will be facing a lot of problems. So like, let me tell you an example. If you want to learn data science, firstly, you should know Python. Then you should know SQL, then MongoDB. Then you have to go for statistics, machine learning. Instead of all this, if you directly go to machine learning, what will happen? You will not understand anything and you will lose the interest. The same way, if you want to learn Python also, there are some structure. There is a structure which you have to follow. So that one we are going to discuss in this today's video. So let's not waste our time. Let's dive into that particular roadmap session. Before that, if you have not subscribed my channel, do subscribe the channel and do like this video and share this video to your friends. And before that, I have even provided my telegram channel link. You can even join to my telegram channel for the latest updates. So this is Python roadmap 2022 20, and 23. So within another two months, it is going to be 23. So I have created it freshly for you all now. So you can see a Python roadmap. I have created here seven steps. We'll see each and every steps. So firstly, Python installation. We require the installation. If without installing the Python and configuring in your local system, you cannot run Python, right? So I have kept the first step as Python installation. How to install Python? I have already created a video on that. If you just click on this link, it will directly take you to my video. You can even watch that. My main intention is not to redirect you to all my video again and again. My main intention is only to provide you all the structure with this roadmap. You can either refer my video or else you can even refer the Python documentation or any other video. It is not an issue for me. So how to install Python? This is already covered. You can check out that here. We'll be seeing how to install Python in your local system and how to configure that also. Then let's go to the second one that is how to install pip. Pip is a library file which will help you all to install pandas, numpy and even some all the important library files which are required. So this also is covered. You can even check out this and how to install anaconda. Anaconda is mainly used to data science and even for data analysis. If you download anaconda, you will get many tools like VS Code, Spider, Jupyter Notebook where you can execute the code. So you can even check out this also. This all these three of them are covered. So Python installation step is done. I guess it will just take for you all one or two days to complete this. Now let us go to the second step that is Python basics. So in this I have given the Python introduction. So if you see that introduction, you will get to know the Python theory like who has introduced Python and when was it introduced and everything you can even check out that for each and every topic i have already covered the video that particular video link will be in, in this particular name itself if you just click on that it will be redirecting to my video so let us see the next one that is how to use jupyter notebook so when you install anaconda you will by default get jupyter notebook so here i have shown you all how to use jupyter notebook and how to delete the cell and how to add cell and even many other things you can refer this out then i have covered python basics with example that is like normal a is equals to b multiplication operations and everything even you can check out this video then from here it starts your basics that is data types and variables in python i have already covered this video you can check out this data types and variables which are the data types like int care float these all are covered you can check out this so if you just click on this it will be re redirecting to my video Okay, if I just click on this link, you can see here it is just redirecting to my video. I'll just pause it out. See, so you can even see this out. Let me close this and let me come back and I have uh, covered type functions and concatenation which is your next step so type functions and concatenation how you concatenate two strings and everything is covered you can even check out that video also then we went to the next step that is the boolean types where we deal with zeros and ones and the type functions of boolean even that is covered so you can check out all these videos everything will be available this is the main structure 
first you should know this then you should go with the data types and variables if you see these data types and variables type functions concatenation and everything let me tell you all i'll tell you all that how much time it takes to cover each and every step before that let me tell you all this after boolean type you should know conditional statements conditional statements that is if if else these all are the conditional statements so you can see here i have given here red line and even for loops i have given red line because these both are very important topics you should definitely understand these both topics or else you will not get python properly these conditional statements and loop statements that is for loop while loop you can check out these both videos also after this we went to the python list how to create a list how to check the index of that particular list and how to delete the list how to create an empty list you can check out all this once list is done you can even check out the type function dictionaries and sets tuples and everything this is your final section for the python basics so if i just minimize this you can see how many other 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 So these ten steps are for Python basics. So it will approximately take for you all fifteen to twenty days to learn these basics only properly to be strong in this. So for Python basics, it will take twenty days. Just keep it in mind. Let us go to Python intermediate now. In this, I have covered functions in Python. Lambda function, map function, and everything. So functions are already covered, and then like arg function. kwrg function you can check out the video for that and lambda function lambda function is a very important function it is even called as a lazy function from which you can write the entire code in only one line it's very interesting you can even check out the lambda function then you can check out the map function filter function how to filter the data you can even check out all these functions for everything the video is covered everything is available once these all are done then it comes list dictionary and set comprehension so this is also an uh, important topic and even the string comprehension these three also are very important topic so if you take 20 days for python basics then if you are basics are strong these basics are strong approximately it will take for you all another 10 to 15 days only to cover all this because these are just a functions if you understand the logic it's very easy for each video if you keep one day also there are how many videos 1 2 3 4 5 6 six steps it will just take actually six days to cover this if you are a beginner it will it might take 12 days for each step if we keep two days also so python intermediate is done and for this also i am assuming 20 days for this also 20 plus 20 40 days plus i'll take for this as two days 42 days and now let us go to python advance which is very important here we have covered iterators versus iterables iterators versus generators these both are very important it will just take for you all if you understand the first video automatically you can understand a second video because it is just a difference and just a structural programming syntax if you just check out that it will be easy for you all i assume for this both it will take just for you all one day because if you have taken 40 days to make your basics and intermediate strong then this will be very easy you can easily understand this within one day i am assuming for two days for both of them and os commands in python this will just take for you all half an hour to one hour to understand these are very easy commands if you just keep on practicing you will get it out then let us go with logging in python so logging exception handling and advanced exception handling these three also are very important if you understand this three then done your advanced section is done so logging where you will be checking the log files of python whichever you have written we will be creating a log file and everything you can check out that video also exception handling how to handle the exceptions which you get that is the errors how to handle those errors because normally now which you will be coding that is different from the industry standard coding in industries if you get any error like attribute error or anything that entire code will go down i mean if you have created a website where if it gives you an attribute error then the entire website will go down instead of that if we give the exception like except call there are many other functions you can check out the exception handling video for that so if you use the function called except 
accept and catch catch will catch the errors whichever are getting and accept will accept the errors and it will just show you all like what all the errors you are getting in a log file so that based on that you can just bring your website down for two two to three minutes and you can just complete that and you can even bring your website up two to three minutes is uh, like i'm just assuming just giving you all an example but normally it takes so much of time to rectify the errors so your advanced section is one two three four six so six advanced sessions i guess 40 days for that means it will just take for you all 10 days for this 50 days and oops concept oops concept is very important in any language if you know the oops concept and you can you easily do the structure programming so oops concept i have already covered the oops concept very recently so classes and objects are done if you know the classes and objects how to create a class and how to pass the object in that done i have covered that in this particular oops concept you can just click on this link and see the video then inheritance in python how to inherit the objects i have covered that you can check out that then polymorphism like executing one code in many forms you can even check out this particular video then data encapsulation how to encapsulate the data like how to uh, secure the data i have covered that also in this particular encapsulation video link if you just click on this you will get the encapsulation video link so yeah so you can see here i have already covered the encapsulation video if i just go to somewhere at the middle you can see here i have already covered the video you can check out that then now let us come to final one that is data abstraction so data abstraction video is already covered the link is not updated it will be updated by the time when you get the description you can check out the description for this particular map i'll be providing this in the description so data abstraction also will be covered and it is already done also it's nothing but abstracting from base class to derived class you can check out that video for more depth understanding so in oops there are five I am assuming for this everything it will just take 60 to 70 days that is almost approximately 2 months to completely learn python easily. So if you follow this roadmap you can easily understand python and you can easily complete your python within 2 months. You can even complete it before also I cannot say if your memory power is strong and if you can gasp the catch the logics easily you can easily complete it within one one and a half month only it is not a big deal so now let me come to an important task that is web frameworks in python that is flask django and even there are some apis rest apis even you can execute python in postman also i have not covered this videos if you want this videos to be covered by me do comment the web frameworks which you want me to start first in this particular video comment below i'll just think about it and i'll check which is more and i'll start that particular if the flask is getting more comments i'll just start with the flask if django is getting more comments i'll start with django and don't forget to comment below for mongodb i'll be starting the mongodb playlist very soon so guys that's all for today's video do like share and subscribe the channel and follow this roadmap to easily learn python for one and a half to two months and even it might take even one month if you are very good enough in Python.